Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw a 360 degree protractor and a 180 degree protractor in Microsoft Word. Both are created with slightly different techniques. I have also used Word VBA and this tutorial is going to be a great example for Word VBA learners. So watch this tutorial till the end. Tip number one. Change the units of measure to centimeter. Step number 2. Save the word file in compatibility mode if you are using Word 2010 or higher version. This gives access to classic Word Art and Word 2007 VBA code. First, I'll show you how to create this 360 degree protractor and then later I'll show you how to create this 180 degree protractor. Now the step number 3 is to copy and paste this VBA code. I have given the link for this VBA code, you can download it on my website. Now I'll copy this, I'll switch to a new file, then go to the developer tab. If it is not visible, you can activate it going to options and then customize ribbon and check developer here and click on the OK button. So now on the developer tab, you could see visual basic. Just click on that and then select the project name here. The project is nothing but the file name or the file itself. For each file, there is a project created. So then go to insert and click on the module. Then simply paste the code which you copy from my website. Now the next step is to insert a line by going to insert shapes line and draw a line. Hold the shift key while you are drawing the line. Now enter 12 cm for the width of the line. Now you will need to make 180 copies of this line and rotate each line by 1 degree increment. This can be done through the macro that I have provided. You can select the line, go to the developer tab and click on macros. Here you could see 3 macros. You need to select protractor 180. What this does is it uh, copies, uh, I mean makes 180 copies of the line and also rotate it by, uh, by 1 degree increment. So now I'll select this and click on the run button. So you will need to wait for a while. It might seem that the word has is hanging and not responding but don't get panic. You will need to wait for a while and the code works like a charm. Now after 40 seconds approximately word has finished uh, making 180 copies of this line. Now do not click away. Uh, if you scroll down you may not be able to see all of the 180 copies because it has gone out of the view. So nothing to worry we will bring them on the page. So keeping this selection still selected, go to the format and click on align and click on align center. Now uh, you could see that the option align selected objects is selected. Uh, keeping that selection uh, again go to align middle. Now still again you will not be able to see anything. Uh, now go to group and click on group now later go to align again and click on align center but this time the objects will be aligned to the margin so then click on align center and then again go to the align click on align middle see all through this process make sure that you are not clicking the cursor anywhere outside because if you do uh, that uh, uh, the objects will get deselected and we will not get the desired result. So now 180 copies have been made. Now 
go to the insert tab click on shapes and click on the oval tool and create a circle for 11.3 centimeters diameter so you will need to enter 11.3 for both the height and the width and press the enter key now uh, you, you can remove the outline of this uh, circle by going to the shape outline and no outline now select uh, both the items that is the circle and the line group by holding the shift key and clicking on that and go to the align click on align center and again align click on align middle now go to the group and group so now uh, we have created the minor lines so what what we created is this these minor lines now we will need to create the major lines so for that uh, before doing that you, you you will need to cut and paste this from your project file to your new blank file so select this and press the control x key and press the control n on your keyboard to create a new document and paste it here so i have a reason for doing this and that is because uh, the macro code might get messed up with new objects so that's the reason i pasted it in the new file now come back to your uh, main project file and uh, go to insert shapes and line now this time again create a line for 12 centimeter now rotate this i mean duplicate this 36 times and rotate it by 5 degree increments so to do that you will need to use my second macro go to the developer tab click on macros and here you could see protractor 36 that is the other uh, macro code that copies uh, 36 times and rotates it uh, rotates the line by 5 degree increments so now i will click the run button and this time it might take a less, less time compared to that 180 copies now you can see that 36 copies have been done now uh, do not deselect go to the format click on align and click on align center now again go to the align and click on align middle now you can group this by going to the group now you can cut this and paste it to your uh, new document overlapping the old uh, I mean other items now uh, go to the insert shapes and take the oval tool and create a circle for 11 centimeter diameter enter 11 for both height and width now remove the outline color now select all the items so you might use the shift key or you can go to the home and then click on select select objects draw a selection box around all the items here now you can go to the format align align center and go to the align again and click on align middle so now group everything together by going to group and clicking on group so uh, we are done with the major lines so now the next step is to go back to your project file and uh, create a line for 12 centimeter again now create another circle for 10.9 centimeter for both height and width now create a rectangle for um, 0 0.7 height 
and 0.5 cm width now click the cursor outside go to the insert click on word art and click on word art see this word art is called classic word art and this is available only when you save the file in compatibility mode so now click on the first one now you can enter a three digit value here now say I would like I prefer typing 0 to 5 and then uh, choose the font as Arial and then click on OK now keeping the word art still selected go to the wrap text and click on in front of text now go to the shape fill and fill this with black color or your preferred color now for the width type 0.5 centimeter and for the height type 0.3 centimeter now you can rotate this by left that is 90 degree left now you can hold this uh, I mean select this rectangle and the word art together and then align them center and middle now you will need to make a duplicate copy of this by holding control and clicking and dragging now you can select only the word art and rotate it by 90 degree and again by 90 degree so this looks I mean this faces each other like this this word art will face this one and this one will face this one so now uh, you will need to um, remove the outline of uh, uh, remove the outline of this rectangle go to the format shape outline and no outline similarly remove the outline for this as well now you can group uh, make a group of this rectangle and this word art together by going to the home select select object draw a selection box like this so that both the items are selected then go to the format group and group do the same thing for the other one so now you have a rectangle but the outline color is disabled now what you can do is you can just align this one with this circle by holding shift and clicking on the circle select them both go to the format align align left and align again align middle now group them together uh, before grouping I would suggest that you make one more copy of this one more copy of this too okay we need uh, copies so now i'll just uh, select this one and this one and group them together now select this one and this circle align right and align middle now group it together now create one more circle and this time enter 9.2 centimeter for both height and width now you will need to bring these two in front of all the items to do that go to bring forward and click bring to front now select this one and this circle align left and middle and then group it now again select this one and this circle align right and align middle now group it together now we have so many items here um, now you will need to select all the items and dra draw a selection box like this make sure everything is selected then go to the format align align center and align middle so this 
aligns and it gives you something like this now select all the objects and go to the format ungroup all the items so you will need to ungroup until the ungroup option is not available see now it's not available now click away and uh, select the circle and delete it delete both the circles so now you should see only this much here now you can select all of these here and group them together now uh, this is almost a final step like now you will need to make 18 duplicate copy of this and then rotate it by 10 degree increments so this can be done uh, from my other macro go to the uh, select this and go to the developer tab go to the macros and run protractor 18 click on run so you will need to wait for a while now don't click away go to the format click on align align center and align again to the middle now you can you know move it to a comfortable location and then you can go to the group and click on ungroup so you can ungroup until the ungroup option is disabled so now what you have to do is click away and then uh, you can start you know uh, changing the values of these word art you can edit the word art by clicking and selecting the word art and going to format and click on edit text and then enter the value and click on the ok button so you will need to uh, do it one by one this is going to be a little time consuming process Once after editing all the uh, word art, select everything by going to the select objects. Draw a bigger selection box so that all the objects are selected. Then group it together. Now cut this and go to the other file and paste it uh, on top of the other, uh, other uh, objects. Now select everything again. Go to the format, click on align center and align middle. Now there is one thing left. You will need to uh, create another circle for 1.5 centimeter for both height and width. Now select all the items. and then go to the format align it center and align it middle now uh, you will need to create the outermost circle you can just insert a circle and then uh, it needs to be created for 12 centimeter now you can send this to 
to the back of all objects send this back now select everything and align it center and middle now group everything together now at this stage the 360 degree protractor is created in Microsoft Word now let us see how to create the 180 degree protractor before I proceed I would like to show you a difference between these two protractors the 360 degree protractor that we created is not transparent as you can notice here and at the same time if you uh, notice the 180 degree protractor is transparent uh, creating this 180 degree protractor um, is a bit difficult but the advantage is that this with this technique you can create transparent protractors and that could be helpful uh, for you to create geometric shapes inside Microsoft Word in my coming next tutorials I'll be showing you how to create geometric shapes in Microsoft Word okay now let us proceed and create this 180 degree protractor so for this I am going back to the same project file and here make sure that uh, there is no uh, shapes or lines or anything if it is there please delete it now uh, let us create a line so let us create a line and uh, this line should be created for 12 centimeter now change the color for the outline to some other color other than black now create one more line and this is for 0 0.3 centimeter make a duplicate copy of this line now select this line and the previously created 12 centimeter line and then align it to the right and bottom now group it together now I guess you will need to send this back I'll send to back and then select these two lines this 0 0.3 and this one and then align left and align bottom now you can group this together now the next thing is you will need to run the macro by going to the developer tab macros and uh, I would select the project file name here and here you can see protractor 180 so select that and click on the run so this would make 180 copies as we did previously but uh, there is a big difference that you will know in a moment now do not click away go to the format align and align center and again align to the middle now you can group this and then go to the align again and then click on align center but this time it will be aligned to the margin align center align middle now you can ungroup everything so just click on ungroup keep clicking ungroup until the ungroup option is disabled so now the ungroup option is completely disabled now what you have to do is you will need to just click away and deselect now go to the home tab select select objects and then carefully uh, I'll, I'll zoom a little now carefully make a selection till this point that is till the 0 and 180 degree so now I'll just select till here so what this would do is this would only select 
the uh, minor lines so now i'll just go to the format group and group now you can bring the group here so if you find something extra here we can delete it you can ungroup and delete this extra line now select everything I mean this portion only this much and then group it now cut this and paste it into your new document now go back to your project file and then delete everything so this is not required so you can delete all of this now create one more line that is for 12 centimeter set the outline color to a different color now create another line and this is for 0 0.5 centimeter you can duplicate this one now select this and this line both and then align right and then align bottom now you can group this together now send this to back and then later align this with this line align left and align bottom now again you can group it now you can run the macro and this time you need to run the protractor 36 macro click on the run so this will create 36 copies now do not click away go to the format align center and align middle now we can group this together move it to a comfortable place somewhere in the middle now you can ungroup this until the ungroup option is not available now click away and then take this uh, select objects tool and select till here now you can group them together now you can delete other stuff so if you have any extra line you can ungroup it and delete it now group this format and group now before paste uh, I mean cutting and pasting it in the new document we would uh, uh, we, we need to make one more uh, thing here like you create a circle and this is for 12 centimeter and again 12 centimeter now you can select this and this both together and then align top and align center so now you can click away select the circle and uh, remove the fill color so that we can see what's happening now we will 
simply select everything and group it together now you can go back to your project file and cut this and paste it on in your new document now for this as well you will you'll need to do the same thing you'll need to create a circle again for 12 centimeter and then select these two and then align to the top and align center now you can click away and then you can select this circle remove the fill and then select these two items group them together so now if you align this set of uh, objects and this set of objects you can see that um, align center align middle so everything is uh, uh, lined up properly now come back to the project file and create a line for 11 centimeter now change the outline color to the red color and then create a rectangle the height can be set to 0.7 centimeter and the width for 0.3 centimeter sorry 0.5 centimeter and then um, click outside go to the insert word art and select the first word art now enter a three digit like say zero two five and then i'll select the arial font click on ok now wrap text and then in front of text now i would prefer um, filling this with a different color so if you are filling this with a different color consider removing the outline color or applying the outline color also now in this case i will remove the outline color now the height and width of uh, the height i can you can set it for 0.3 and the width for 0.5 centimeter now you can rotate this 90 degree sorry rotate left 90 degree now you can make one more copy of this and one more copy of this rectangle as well see you can make multiple copies we will be needing this so now select this and this one both and align center and align middle so if you are not able to see the word art send this object behind i mean send to back now select both of them and group them together now align this and this line align left and align middle now you can group this together now you can rotate this word art to the right and one more time right now select these two align center align middle now let me send this to the back now select both and group it together now select these two this one and this one and align right and align middle now group it together so now this is a uh, first set of group we required now create another line and this is for 9.25 centimeter sorry 10 centimeter 
now set the outline color to the red color now create one more line and set the size to 0.35 now you can make a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl d key now select this line and this line and then align left align middle now group them together now select i think you will need to send this object behind you can go to send send to back now you can select these two again this one and this one now align right and align middle or align bottom no problem now you can group this together now create one more line and this is for 9.25 centimeter set the outline color to red now we will need to place one more text here so i i can you know uh, either you can take this itself and place it here or you can create new ones if you want let me delete this this creates confusions now let me ungroup this and copy this select both align right and align middle now we can group them together now i'll copy this side this one now select these two and then align left align middle now we can group them together now since you have ungrouped it um, this set of objects needs to be grouped again i'll group it together again now finally you will need to create one more line and that is for 8.25 centimeter now set the outline color to red now create one more line and this is for 3.37 centimeter and make a duplicate of this now select these two and then align right and align bottom then group it together now you can send this back then select these two items and then align left align bottom now group it again now create one more line for 12 cm set the outline color to red and then create another line for 0.3 cm make a duplicate of this you can use the control d keys now select this line and this one align right and align bottom now you can group this now send this to back and then select these two lines align left and align bottom now you can group this so now finally we are done with all the required items so select all of them all the object groups now you can go to the format align center then align middle now you can ungroup this till the ungroup option is not available so now carefully select and delete only the red lines so you can just click there could be multiple red lines overlapping one another you can click and delete it so delete it until you don't see the red lines and now you can delete this 
rectangles as well now if you prefer a different color for this item you can select this and set a different color so I prefer the green color now you can select everything select all and then group it now you can run the third macro select this carefully and uh, do not make one more click so if you make one more click it will select an item inside the group and if you run the macro code on this it might produce an error so you should select the complete group by, uh, like this then go to the developer macros run the third one that is the protractor 18 so this makes 18 copies now go to the format align center and align middle now move this to a comfortable location and then ungroup everything until you until the ungroup option is disabled now carefully select till here now use the select objects carefully select till here move and check delete the other unwanted items now if you see objects overlapping you can click and delete it so you can undo it undo the action if anything goes wrong so now you can group everything select everything and group it now create a circle for 12 centimeter so align this to this one align center and align top now remove the fill color now select these two again and group them together now you can cut this and paste it on the other file so now you can select all the items and then align center align middle so now there are few things left over now you will need to create a semicircle here so to do that you can go to uh, shapes and take this one the arc option so you can uh, enter a measurement of 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 now you can duplicate this flip this horizontally and then create a circle for 1.5 centimeter so you can set a different color for this one and bring these two arcs to the front now I'll select this one and this circle align top and align right now we can group it now select these two align top and align left and then again group it now 
create a line for 1.5 centimeter and then align these two align center align middle now you can group this again now cell take one more line and create it for 0.75 centimeter and select these two items now align center and align top now group it again so now you can bring this and align it with this one so you can use the select objects select everything and then align center align middle so now there is one more thing uh, needs to be created and that is this semicircle so we need a semicircle for this as well later we will delete all the other unwanted circles so now you can create an arc for 6 cm 6 and 6 now we can duplicate this and flip this horizontally now create a circle create a circle for 12 cm So now I can set this a different outline color and I'll remove the fill as well, no fill. Now I will bring these two arcs to the front. Now select one of the arcs and select the circle. Then go to align top and align left. Now group it and again select the other one and this circle both these two and align top and align right now group it now you can select everything so you can just select everything now align center and align middle so now keeping the selection still selected you can ungroup it until the ungroup option is disabled keep ungrouping ungroup them all now carefully delete the unwanted bigger circles that is this one so you can click and select and delete the circles there are many circles here so you can move it and check there are multiple circles you can just delete it and even you can delete this one so if you see any overlapping items you can delete it now you can select everything and group it so dear viewers I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial you can download the VBA code from my website and also you can download the PNG files of these protractors on my website. So that is 360 de uh, degree protractor as well as 180 degree protractor PNG file format images on my website and uh, uh, I hope you understood the difference. So this uh, 180 degree protractor is transparent. So using this you can create geometric uh, shapes inside microsoft word and i am going to show you in my next coming tutorial so uh, stay tuned keep watching come to my channel uh, for future updates um, i'll see you all in my next video with another awesome content until then it's bye from hbn infotech.com